Hey, Flats Class YouTube fans, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to teach you a loop knot. This is a loop knot that I've been using for years, uh, and I use it because the tag end will point back down toward the lure. Uh, it's a fast, easy tie. Anyone can do it. It's a, it's a knot that Merrill Chandler, who used to be friends with a longtime captain here uh, on the west coast of Florida named Mel Berman. Well, Merrill made this knot famous and called it the Canoe Man Knot. So I'm going to take you down here and we're going to go on the edge of the boat. We're going to tie it. But before I do that, promise me you're going to subscribe to Flats Class YouTube. Go over here and push that button right now and subscribe. This is my virtual classroom. It is each and every day. Every day we have a new lesson for you where we put something up, a review, a show, an adventure, something, a short. So if you wanna be entertained and you wanna be informed, this is the channel for you. All right, I'm gonna get over here and get ready. Get over there and push those buttons. Can't wait to show you guys this knot. We're gonna tie it on this lure right here. All right, for demonstration purposes, we're going to be using Momoy's High Catch fluorocarbon leader. Now, uh, 25 pound is a weight that I would use or employ to catch a lot of inshore fish um, from snook to down to speckled trout. Uh, I might use a little heavier for snook at times, but uh, right now, 25 is all I had on hand. And uh, the plug we're gonna tie on is an MR17. This is one of our customs, which is the Bleach Blonde. I've got inlines on it because we were doing another video about inlines. But here's what you want. You wanna get a length of this 25 pound liter. Now I do realize it's not the easiest thing to see. I'm gonna make two loops. I'm gonna go one, and then I'm gonna put another loop right next to it, two just like so, with a tag right there. You guys can see that good? Now I'm gonna take the second and I'm gonna force it through the first loop and pinch it down so it looks like that, okay? Looks just like that. Then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put my line through the plug, hook, you know, the, the tie, and I'm gonna go through that second loop that I created. And then I'm gonna pull back with this main line. I'm going to just pull back, tighten it up, even pressure on it. See what I've done there? I created a loop knot. It's nice and tight and strong. I'm going to take my trusty boomerangs and I'm going to, I'm going to leave myself a little Kentucky windage so that it looks like that. So we've got a loop knot if you can see there and I'm I'm looking too to make sure you can see it and you can see how that that tag is pointed back toward the lure these hooks are sharp I probably should have took them off <laughs> but that's it that's the look right there that you're looking for and that gives me that hinging effect so I have that strong dot 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 dark 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 when I'm snook fishing that's a very desirable um motion or uh, action that snook loves so that's why that loop knot is very important the old merrill chandler canoe knot now let me tie it one more time and this time i'm not going to tie it as slow so i'm going to cut this one off completely off okay my plug i take one two so i've got the tag and i've got two little circles i'm going to put the second circle through the first circle and pinch it off so that it looks like that. Now all I got is that little tag. I'm gonna take that tag, I'm gonna go through the hook eye there, bring it through that second hole. I'm going through the second one here, okay? Second one, that's it. So I go through that second one, pull back, and then I'm just gonna tighten all this down. That's it. That is it. 
And I'm gonna pull this through. I just gotta cut this off. So I cut it off and there is my tag. My tag is down toward the bait, okay? I know the light's not great out here today. That's why I'm doing YouTube videos. I couldn't be on the water. But now I've got that hinging action. So I've tied it twice for you. A nice hinging action and it does look good. That's almost a better angle there for you. So for those of you that really enjoy tying these loop knots, I encourage you to learn the Canoe Man uh, loop knot. It is simple, it is fast, it is super strong, and it always leaves that tag pointed back toward it. It's very clean. It is super, super clean knot. So, uh, so try it. I think you're going to like it. I love doing knot videos. I feel like you get a lot out of them. And this Merrill Chandler loop knot is, is absolutely one of my favorites. Just like the modified Albright knot, the Red Phillips knot, the improved Double Double Uni knot that we just did. Uh, we're, we do knots here all the time, but that's not all we do at Flats Class YouTube. We do a lot of technique stuff on the water. Uh, all of our Tidewater Diaries and Flats Class YouTube shows live here. If you want to learn about inshore fishing, you need to be a part of the channel. So again, give us the thumbs up and boom, hit that subscribe button. All right, I'm going to start working on my next video. And then I'm headed to the Florida Keys where we're going to, we're going to take you along on that adventure as well.